Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Medieval Dynasty. So here we are at the very end of spring and uh, yeah, most people have gone to bed. So I think it's our turn. In fact, oh yes, there's my lovely wife. Uh, good night, honey. See you next season. <laughs> oh, okay. So yeah, I guess we're, we're sufficiently high level that there's not a lot of stuff going on anymore that we have to make too many decisions. It just sort of makes them for us, I suppose. Uh, some sudden and very strong, some sudden and very strong storm has passed through your village during the night and damaged some of, some of your buildings. Thankfully, no one was hurt. Well, okay. In this particular case, there wasn't really, I don't think there would, would have been a choice anyways. So no restrictions. All right. Eight buildings got damaged. Oh, well, fortunately, we have people that can handle that. There goes my boy. Now, what? how old is he at this point? Um, let's see. He's still 16. Okay. And, uh, yeah, he's still mucking out pigs. <laughs> what do you think? Are we being too hard on the boy, dear? I don't think we are. She's like, nope. Oh, yeah, that's it. You, that's, yep. Make it all, fluff it up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it is summertime, and uh, I've already, if I remember correctly, I've already resolved the uh, the barn thing. So basically, the uh, I, I took everybody that was, uh, everybody except for one person, uh, was this, oh, look at the damage to the barn. Excellent. Um, and let's take a look. Ingrida is the only person who is currently working in the barn. And then everybody else is now working in the farm sheds, which are also damaged. Uh, we really do have to upgrade them with Dob as well. Um, I'm going to have to get to that at some point. I have a plan for today. We'll get there. Uh, in the meantime, apparently... Oh, oh, fruit trees. Yeah, we're going to have to deal with that situation as well. Uh, let's see. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll get to that uh, at some point. Oh, <gasps> we have... Oh, somebody's had their child. Now, who is Siegfried's mom? That would have been as Gustava. Okay. And then what did she, what was she doing? She is, let's take a look at, at who she is and what her capabilities are. And that'll point us in the right direction. Um, so if, essentially she has now entered a different workforce. Um, the mom workforce. <laughs> she was a, oh, she was a, um, well, was she actually working as a hunter? What was she doing? Well, I guess we could probably find out. But first, before we do that, let's get the uh, buildings all sorted out. Um, let's go to the builder's hut. And then we've got a whole, look at that. Oof, everything is damaged. People's houses. Oh, man. Fortunately, we have a builder, uh, like a building hut. And we can, we have someone who's been set aside to specifically repair everything. So this is not a big deal at all. Uh, in fact, it would be a bigger deal if I had to do it myself because I'd have to run around and some of these... Uh, I think all of them are actually in the main village, aren't they? So I don't, I wouldn't have to, probably wouldn't have to travel too far to, to get all these fixed. But regardless, we have somebody that can do that for us. All right. So that's the first order of business. Uh, the second of order, order of business is to see what, uh, what the situation is with hunting. Now the fishing hut has two people, uh, Genoefa and Roland, and the hunting lodge has two out of four. Did we, was, okay. Uh, what? Is there anything else that's, that's short of a person? The problem is that, okay, like hunting, it's obvious that these are hunting, uh, the people that work there. Well, actually, no, see this, the, <laughs> this is actually a survival skill, even though it's in hunting. Um, so it's the hunting lodge pretty well that does that. But is there anything else? I can't remember what other things require the hunting skill. Extraction? No. I don't think there is anything else. I think we just lost a hunter, which is, you know, not good, but, uh, I think we can survive. What we could, what we can actually do is take a look in the hunting, uh, building, the hunting lodge, and see what their work situation is. They're at a hundred percent. Mostly working on uh, meat. I think we could back off maybe some dried meat. Um, leather and fur. Leather and fur and feathers. We could probably back off feathers. Let's take a look at the situation with leather, fur, and feathers. And see if there's any of those that we could get away with uh, reducing production on or gathering on. Uh, leather is at 655. 
Okay, we could probably do something there. Fur is at 19. Okay, fur we can definitely do something about. And feathers, 4,000. Okay, basically fur and feathers, I think, is the, the safest bet. We do use leather for the, the sewing hut, so I don't want to cut into that too much. But, I sh you know, we can, there is room for uh, redu reduction, I think, based on what I'm seeing. So fur, we can bring that down to maybe about, it would be easy to make it zero and then just rely on what we have, but eventually we'll just run out. So I'd rather slowly approach it, and or at least reach some sort of equilibrium, and then feathers. You know what? Feathers we could probably do two, two percent, and that'd be good enough. And yeah, there we go. And then we'd have to increase meat because that is where we actually were running out of meat at one point. And if we've lost a hunter, yeah, then that might be an issue. And we sell we sell meat as well, so uh, I think that's going to be fine. Now. <clears throat> The fact that there's fruit on the fruit trees means that I'm going to have to go out to the uh, the mining village at some point this season and harvest them because, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, you know, oh, there's a few other things we should check. Oh, well, let me finish my thought first. So we, because otherwise my farmers here will try to go out there and gather them. So, you know what we could do? Let's, you know, let's go, let's do a quick run out there and, and uh, just get it out of the way. I wouldn't mind a little, uh, a little bit of exercise anyways. Should we take, no, Maggie, she got, she had a lot of excitement in the last one. Oh, I know who, Robin. I bet you Robin would love to go out for a run. Look at him. He's, look, he's feeling down. Buddy, <laughs> let's go. He's like, all right, I'm up. Yes. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's, uh, we're going to head out to the mining uh, thing. So, and while we're doing this, I, I'll use it as an opportunity to basically give the game plan. The first thing is, let's double check and see what, what kind of, yeah, see we have no uh, quests in the village. Uh, there's quests around the, the valley, but I really prioritize like, first the top priority is husband and like the husband and wife quests, basically my wife. And then the second, and of course not far, behind that priority is my son quests but i think we're we're kind of i think we're in a sort of a middle ground with them uh apparently i missed out like uh people have been telling me a little bit more information about the uh the hair cutting ceremony and and the importance behind it and how there's it's more than just cutting hair there's like a there's a bunch of stuff behind it and it's actually used partly to determine your your child's personality traits and I thought that was really cool. Like they were giving me some really interesting information. Uh, the game somehow figured out that my son is a daredevil. <laughs> but yeah, there's th there's things like something to do with bandits and with hunting and yeah, you know. As sadly, I missed out on that. Oh, you know what? Would you like? Oh, hey, is there any hunters or rogues? No, bandits. My goodness, I'm getting my uh, my games mixed up. I don't see any bandits over here, so that's a bummer. All right, well that's fine. Let's uh, let's head over to the village. If I don't get this stuff now, I'm gonna forget. So I might as well uh, do something about it now. Wah! Yeah, you! Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> He's a young horse. He he he, uh, he loves to do these exciting tricks and stuff like that. Look at him. He's super happy. Yeah. <laughs> whoa no that's what he's looking he's like whoa that's a lot of sheep <laughs> yes yes sir it is a lot of sheep okay uh let's let's pick the uh the fruits Doo -doo -doo. uh now how do i oh right you have to do th it's weird you'd think it would be to to look at where the fruit are like up here but you have to look at the trunk and then you can gather them uh, i always forget that and there you go see this is it's not a big deal but I have to do it every time these are ready to harvest the fruit trees because uh, otherwise, um, yeah, the farmers, they'll, they'll start slowly walking up here uh, after they finish their regular work. And, <laughs> the, and then they'll start trying to come up here to harvest all these trees. It's, it's quite amusing. All right, let's head on out of here. As I say, it was a, it's a quick little thing. It gets us out of the house, um, so to speak. You know, the, the proverbial house. It gets us out of the, uh, out of the village. <laughs> let's, let's, hey, Robin, let's go see what's up here. 
Maybe there's something exciting happening. Oh? Oh? No. Oh, look! Look, Robin! Rabbits! He's like, that's not exciting. I know, but look, we can dream, can't we? What would be really exciting are bandits. Maybe we'll find some bandits. But that's not, uh, the, that's not strictly speaking the plan for today, but, oh, look at that. We got a shovel here. Oh, well. Did I get a music change? I did, but it's just the quieter version of the regular music. You know what? Let's grab the clay. And we grab ourselves a nice... Do you sense something? Is there something on the wind? No? Oh, yes? Okay, maybe. You're just... You're just... You're teasing me, aren't you? Yes, okay. I thought that might be the case. Um... Oh! Oh! <laughs> actually, you know what? Somebody asked me about uh, a crossbow. I actually have a crossbow, and I actually do use it. Uh, we put that in slot three, and then I'll put it in, uh, and then we'll, we'll enable the bo bolts. We'll bring, it, bring the crossbow up. And the reason why I don't use it is because in more dicey fights, like with uh, Wysant and anything like that, um, yeah, let's see if we can... This is a one-shot. Which is why, it, with a crossbow, it works in this particular case. You know, it's it's um, guys like the developers. They put they put the uh, this clay field in the middle of a, a boar spawn, or they put boars in the middle of. You know, that's I don't know, guys. What it, let's take a look and see what the, uh, the animal situation is here. If there are there's still some boars around, let's see if we can find them. Actually, you know what? No, we can harvest you first. Hey, pig. How you doing? Am I going to get my, uh... I can see the bolt right there in the... I got it back. Good, good, good. All right, let's reload. Oh, there he is right over there. Okay, let's go get him. Uh, but I, I use the, the regular bow because it's so fast. Like, you can just, you know, boom, boom, boom. And see, the Wysant, though, you can't one-shot them. And, uh... Now, I think what, what uh, people were su suggesting... And we could try that, actually... I wouldn't mind trying to get another Wysant, to be honest. No, the shovel's not going to work. Right. I, I, this is, yeah. In, I don't have to actually equip the knife in order to harvest the boar. Yeah, I always forget that. Okay. There we go. We got our bolt back. So, one of the things that people suggested is that you could use melee with, uh, with these guys. In which case, the crossbow kind of makes more sense. So the advantage advantage with the crossbow is they do I do believe they do higher output. So there's another Y sent right over there. They do uh, higher damage. Uh, well, we can even take a quick look at it, right? So the is it the arrow? Fifty five damage on the arrow and seventy five damage on the on the, uh, the crossbow. And so you can take a big chunk out of the Y sent with it, um, and then you know follow it up with melee. Uh, which probably is a, you know, it's a, that's a reasonably good tactic, and I kind of like it. <laughs> um, but let's see, I need to get ready. What do I have? What do I have as far as melee? I think I threw out. No, I didn't throw them out, but oh, what am I? Let's go here. That's, we can narrow it down a bit. I don't think I have any good melee weapons on me. I don't consider the shovel to be a good melee weapon. Um, oh man, it's a wooden. I already have an iron shovel on me. You know what? Let's do this right. Let's th we'll 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 do the the because uh, I did the Wysant in the last episode, and you know I did it one way, and I think it's a perfectly valid idea to maybe do it the other way for the second one. I'll get clay another time. There's there's plenty of opportunity to get clay. There's lots of places you can get clay, so let's not worry about that too much. Are there any bandits along the water here though? Because that would be cool. Better than Wyson. No? Okay. All right. Let's go get ourselves a decent melee weapon, and then we'll try the old one-two punch with the uh, crossbow and a melee for taking out Wyson and see how that works. That's where the crossbow shines. You get in a, one good, solid, hard shot, and then when they close the distance, you switch to melee, and then you, you finish them. Unless... problem with the, some of the animals is that they will... Um, how do I put it? Oh, actually, we have meat on us. 
uh, they will run away if you do too much. In which case, you're going to have to chase them anyways, so. Yeah, with the... Yeah, I don't know. It, you know what? It's six six of one, half dozen of the other. Oh, I've got a bunch... Yeah, that's right. We, we harvested a bunch of stuff, didn't we? Okay, beet, plums. And I should have uh, my... I have to... I should get my... um my quark supply. I do need to have some quark. Let's see. Let's go for the, do we have any low grade? Oh yeah. Perfect. We got the, this is the, the, the juicy stuff. Uh, that's, I love that. That's, that's nice. Why was the, um, resource storage red? I've never noticed that that's red before. Hang out there for a second, Robin. Let me just, uh, take a look around at a couple things. <clears throat> so, uh, it looks like it's in good shape, so I don't know. Maybe that's just the way that the game was, uh, showing that stuff. That's okay. All right, so we put away you, and what did we want? We wanted to get a, a melee weapon. We could, we want to get an iron, I think the iron spiked cudgel is kind of, we don't need a really good one. It, it just has to last long enough for this, so we'll just take the best one we have. Uh, I'm going to dump my, uh, I'm going to dump my... Oh, I have a spear. Yeah, but I don't think it, it's used as a... You know, we could try Stabby Stabby with it. I, I use it... I think of a spear as more of a throwing weapon, but it's not. It's actually both throw and Stabby Stabby. So maybe we could try that one as well. Uh, yeah, let's do that. And then for the cudgel, I'll put it in seven. There we go. We've got the cudgel in seven. I just have to remember that, that I have the cudgel in seven, so that, because you got the bow, you do the, the you know, the, the, the blammo. Oh, no, no, don't do it here. This is, people are going to freak out. This village, these are nice. Don't show the kids. They'll think it's, I'm violent. You do the, you know, the blammy blammy, and then you switch over to the, the cudgel, and then you do the whack whack. But before we do that, because that is kind of, no, put that away. Put that away. Okay, we're fine. There is something I almost... What are you doing? <laughs> Pros, I tell ya. Uh, there is one thing that somebody told me about, and I thought, oh, that's so good. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta test it out. Um, unfortunately, I don't have what I really want for this, and I can't use... Well, you'll see. You'll see. I think... I, 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 wanted, I, I wanted to try this on camera. Um, okay, 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 okay. All right. This is, this is cool. I prepped for this at the end of the last season. Are you ready, Robin? You want to see something? Don't, I'm not going to hit you in the head with a hammer. Here, I'm backing off. Okay, good. You want to see something cool? Watch this. Watch this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know it. Look at that. <laughs> I did not know. The, uh, in the gable, you can actually put, uh, the, the, the skull trophies. Um, what else can you put up there? Really, it's, it's the, a relief or a trophy. Right. Um, it, I really wish I'd I'd known that when I before I placed the the bison one, um, or the wisent one, which is bison bison same thing. Um, <clears throat> and uh, basically, I, I wish I'd known that, but yeah, I didn't. So that's okay. But and, and, I, and I had a spare um, uh, deer skull in the in in the uh, what you call it in the. Uh, uh, resource storage and I thought oh yeah let's try it out oh this is cool now apparently you can put them like up here as well on any of these gables so I could put like uh, these reliefs up there as well like this it's kind of cool huh that's really neat I'm I'm really thankful that someone that they, they brought that up that was very cool thank you very much super helpful um, I didn't even think of that yeah, that's that is that is absolutely uh, awesome. Okay, let's go and um, let's go and do some uh, testing with Wyson uh, as far as the uh, the one two whammy, the double the 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 crossbow with iron cudgel follow up. Yeah, um, let's mark that. Where is it on the map? Here? Let's see. Oh yeah, we've got the. Oh, there's still boars available. We could probably kill the rest of the boars as well. Just so, we, you know, we can. Autosave. Okay, apparently it autosave. Uh, which way are we going? That way. Okay, let's go. We might as well finish with the boars. Why not? 
We'll jump over the water. Whee! Uh, and they are right up here. You know what I could do is I could put uh, I could put Robin down here by the road, where it's safe. I don't have to worry about him getting gored by a bison or something like that. So you hang out here, buddy. I'm gonna go and do some dangerous stuff. He's like, all right, fill your boots. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're still going to use the crossbow for this, so let's load that bad boy up. All right, let's go see if we can find our... Uh... Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, I missed. This is why I don't like the crossbow. <laughs> you have to be... Super careful on your when on your follow up. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I just wasn't careful on my first shot. That's okay. I uh, got my uh, bolt back, so I'm happy about that. All right, now let's go. That should have taken care of all the Oh no, there's still really This is like a major boar spawn. This is good to know. Yeah, he's the Oh 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 oh. He's not happy. He's like, hey, I'm a pig. Get away from my clay. Oh, no. That, that, I missed the headshot. Oh, I, I didn't aim. I aimed too high. Oh, now I got to chase him down. I should have been more careful. Should have been more careful. He's going right into the wizent, aren't you? Ooh, another uh, bad shot, but that's okay. We survived. Man, I'm not doing well with these. Uh... I, 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 the crossbow is actually more accurate. <laughs> I think I'm just more careless with it. <laughs> I, I, I'm not gonna make any excuses. I'm, I'm telling you, I, I was just, I'm doing bad, poorly with it. Um, okay, that's all the boars. That's what I want to do is clear out all the boars. Let's go and uh, spot the wisent. Now, let's see. Uh, that's a cat. Oh, I, I left the bolt over here. Really? Oh, did I? I think I did. I miss one. I must have missed one. Okay, that's all right. We can get the iron bolt. Now, where did our Wysant friends go? And just to remind myself, seven. Now, if I was smart, what I would do is I would actually put the, uh, I would actually unequip this and then I would equip it in four so that I could just go from three to four, right? Uh, bring up three, reload the crossbow. So when I want to switch to the, to the melee, oh, there he is. Okay. Okay. All right, let's do this right. Let's get a little bit of a distance to give us an opportunity to switch weapons and fumble a little bit. Maybe uh, get a nice view of a uh, headshot and right in the noggin. And then switch over to you and whack, 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 bum shots. Seriously? Okay, I kind of like my bow method better. <laughs> I, 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 I actually do like my bow shot bow method better let's get the uh, let's get the wisent and hopefully we can maybe get a, a bison or wisent skull and we could put an actual uh, oh we got one yes 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 and then we can maybe give it to somebody on the edge of their oh there's another one there okay let's uh let's do this again but this time let's not how much damage does the uh the the cudgel do 50 not much spear 60 all right let's try the let's try the uh the spear and it's uh slot five okay well that's good to know we'll have to remember to switch to that where's where's your uh where's your noggin there, there's no others around <gasps> is that another one over there no that's a moose okay where are you there you are oh that's your bum i don't want to no i want to go uh, i want a headshot we have, to, we have to start with it. That's uh, not a kitty cat. Links. Oh, you're moving away. No, you don't. 
No, you don't. Oh, I, I gotta keep an eye out. Maybe I'll run into something uh, equally hostile. Oh, this is a good place right here. Yeah, this'll work. Uphill. He's gotta run uphill to get to me. Oh, no, he's turning away. Oh, you jerk. Seriously? There he is. Okay, let's, uh... Okay, we're, got, we're, we're in the clear. Okay, I have to switch to five. Remember, five. And then we do stabby, stabby. Five. And then stabby! Ah! Yeah, stab, stab. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. Stab him. Bump. Oh, oh, this is terrible. Oh, oh. I like the bow better. Oh, every time I want to stab, he, he, he stops. Okay. You know what? What are you doing? Seriously. You're okay. All right. I, I, I must say I like my bow method better. <laughs> All right, fine. <laughs> oh, that's a that's a that's an up close and personal uh, shot there. Uh, I got another I got another Weissen skull. <laughs> Seriously, really? Oh my goodness! I, I couldn't get them uh, before, but now I'm getting them all the time. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, and I think that's probably all of the Weissen. Uh, if we do, yeah, there. See, it's grayed out, so. All right, um, I think we're we've done with that. Let's go and uh, let's head on back home. We'll go down to the. Uh... Actually, how filthy am I? Twelve percent. Okay. I'm hoping. I was hoping also to. Oh no, I'm not going to hunt you, moose. You're fine. But I was also I was hoping to see if we had any bandits out here because that would be kind of cool. You know, I, you know what I've become? I've become, you know, like uh, in medieval times, uh, you've got your, the, the, if you reach a sufficient level, you're no longer worrying about your day-to-day -day needs because you've got, you know, like a whole bunch of people working in a, in a village and all that other stuff. And now I'm just like a, an adrenaline junkie out here trying to, to hunt, you know, hunt for things and stuff like that. Let's, let us go on a hunt, you know, and then <clears throat> trying to do, just doing it for boar and or trying to, you know, bear hunting and boar hunting and stuff like that just for, for the sport of it. Yeah. <laughs> there. Oh, there's my little buddy. Let's put that away. Um, actually, and the other thing I'm going to do is uh, re-equip my iron arrows. My iron bolts. No, actually, um, yes, the iron arrows. Uh, because I am going to equip uh, where's my bow? I am... Okay, it's easier if I go here. And then here's the recurve bow, and I'm gonna put it in slot three. I like it better. It... it uh, the crossbow's good. I agree. It is excellent. Yes! I... Yes, Robin agrees. I do like the crossbow, by the way. It's just that reload is really slow, and... Eh, I like that, you know, you can... You can go pew, pew, pew with the, uh... With the... With the recurve. So, but they're both good weapons and they're both well done. And I think they've done a good job with them in the game, both of them. So, all right. Now we have a couple of Wisent skulls. Um, I'm going to try something and I'm not too worried if uh, it doesn't work, but I'm going to try something when we get back to the village because I'm curious. I was avoiding... I avoided, uh, well, you'll see. I'll show you. I'll show you when we get back to the village. It was, I was avoiding something because I didn't want to lose a thing. And yeah, I'm being, okay, this, now I'm just getting annoying. Okay, let's just get to the, the house and I'll show you. Do, do, do. Look at that. Are my farmers out there working? Oh, yeah. All right. We're back home. Man, it's almost the end of uh, the first day of, of summer. Okay. So here's what I was uh, kind of concerned about. If I take a look in the specialty thing, I have two Wisent skulls. And I have no deer skulls, right? So now if I go up here and I swap this over to the uh, Wisent skull, 
like that, I don't get the the deer skull back. And that's why I didn't undo this one here. Uh, in fact, what I might do is now, now that this one is actually, uh, I've got it outside, I don't really, this to me doesn't strike me as indoor uh, decoration. This one, it's kind of like, okay, this is like a teenager's room. And so it's going to have like, you know, heavy metal posters and dead animal skulls on the wall. But this side of the room, this is like, you know, the guest bedroom, right? And then, you know, this is where my wife is and everything. And she was sweeping over here. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think she, I'm, I'm pretty sure she probably doesn't appreciate that. Although on the outside, I think it looks cool. So I'm just going, that's what I'm going for. Point being is I think I'm going to swap that over to a, um, well, let's find, actually, before I do that, let's uh, make sure. I'm going to swap it over to a uh, two. Yeah, okay. The, uh, uh, the whatchamacallit, uh, relief. And the reliefs require two planks. Okay, good. That's what I wanted to make sure of. So we're going to put a relief back up on, on that wall. Because it's much more indoor, you know. Yeah. <laughs> what was it from, uh, oh, what was the, um, uh, um, oh, Pet Detective. Uh, what was his name? Played by Jim Carrey. And anyways, in, I can't remember if it was in the first one or the second. Ace Ventura. In the first one or the second one. Where basically he 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 he's, he goes into a room and he's and it's like there's like uh, animal trophies everywhere and of course Ace Ventura is like a totally against you know animal harming animals and stuff and he's and he's like and he's, he called it a lovely room of death. <laughs> Anyways, sorry that 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 scene just popped into my head because it's uh, you know. All right, uh, enough of that. Let's uh, let's go to. Let's go to uh, planks, do, 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 do. and we're just gonna grab a couple because we're only gonna do the, the one. Uh, and then I've got another Wysant trophy left. I'm gonna hold that one in reserve, and you know maybe an occasion will come up where uh, a uh, nice Wysant trophy on somebody's wall will will um, seem appropriate. <laughs> Don't run over the children. Don't run over the children and the people and the children. And oh my goodness, okay. All right, let's see. Oh, and I should also wash myself because I probably smell like, you know, dead animal. Do, 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 do. Okay. All right, now, we currently have the, the little wolf. We have, we had fish over here before, but currently we have a wolf. I, I like this. This one's actually really nice. I quite like it. Um, it's kind of like, because it's not just the wolf. It's got trees and mountains and stuff. It's a, it's a whole scene. And then who doesn't love squirrels? Well, some people don't, but you know what I mean. <laughs> um, so for this one, though, I had a fish, right? Um, we could do the, the a rooster or a duck. We've already got a squirrel. We could do the, the dove. You know what? I'm going to put a dove up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think, I think they'll like the duck. I think my, my wife and, well, my son and any guest that comes by and, and stays in the guest room was it will love a, a, a nice dove. So. Hi, honey. Oh, oh, it's a new season. <laughs> One moment. <gasps> Dates. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Or a flute. What do you think? A flute or Dates. Do you think she'd like a flute? You know, I don't know if I've given her a flute before. I'm going to give her a flute. Hello, honey. How can I help you? Oh, um, you look like you could use some water. Thank you. <laughs> um, I got you a little something. And I got you a lovely flute. It's There you go. Plus seven. Thank you, husband. She, um, we already, I already have like 100% affection. I, I just do this because once a season. If I do it, try to do it more than once a season. Um, See you soon. Well, I could show you, but it essentially she says you've already done enough for me or something. It's something like that. Uh, so yeah. All right, Robin. Let's let's send let's take you back to your uh, family. 
I just keep thinking about that whole thing about, you know, uh, the... Well, in KCD, like, you know, the uh, K-Pon, uh, and the, the <laughs> going out on a hunt and all that sort of stuff and talking big, and, yeah, now I'm starting to feel like maybe I'm that guy. <laughs> I don't know about this situation. All right, do I have anything on me that I need to put away? We have leather. I have a stick, apparently. Oh, yeah, that was from... Yeah, 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 I had to pick a stick up, didn't I? Um, I don't think I have anything else. Oh, is there any coin? Because I've been spending money. I just, I dropped below 200,000 and this shall not stand. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Now, uh, let's see. Could do with a bit of water too. Apparently she said I was thirsty. I've got pear juice. I'll keep that for, for another time. Oh, and do I have, um, and I have quirk on me, don't I? Oh, meat! Ah! I gotta put the meat away. Now, it looks like, oh yeah, see, they've gotten this far on harvesting. So, they're they're making progress after a single day. So, they'll be fine. They'll, they'll get all the work done. I have no, uh, no doubt. There we go. And it is summer, so, let's see. Rye and, and oats are done in fall and spring so we don't have to worry about that and i think it's uh what is planted in the what, what is the situation with uh ryan oats i just want to make sure that we're not going to run out of seed um let's take a look so oats are going to be there okay so we have 91 left which may seem dire but we do we do have uh and I increased the number of fields too. So we have more fields of oats than normal and they've been planted and they will be harvested in the fall in the next season. So this is going to change. It's going to go up. Rye is the one to be worried about because it's going to be planted in the fall and we have plenty of rye grain. We got 525. So we're doing fine. We're doing absolutely fine as far as that's concerned. Uh, animal feed, I think, is doing okay. I did check it, by the way, um, before I started, and it was fine. So we're not too worried about that. Uh, I think there was a couple of other things that I was... Well, you know what? Let's get through to the next day, and then we'll we'll, uh, we'll go from there. Let me see here. Uh, everything's fine. Uh, oh, yeah, right. I needed to eat. There, and I'm good. My health is not great. Let's. You know what? Let's see if the... Uh, if overnight... Uh, I'll get a little bit of a... Oh, it used to be, by the way, that... How are you? Um, I have a favor to... No. Uh, I have a favor to ask. No, it used to be that you could get her to fit, to patch you up. Where can I find... Yeah, be well. Have a good day. You have a good day, too. I'm, I'm tired, sweetie. I was chasing after Wysant and stuff, so I'm going to go to bed. Good night. Okay. See? Look at that. She loves it. Do you see the way she just sort of nonchalantly walks past it? She thinks it's awesome. Oh, oh, great. We get rain today. Oh, that's wonderful. All right. Now, um, what did I have planned for today? Well, I did pretty much what I, like, the main thing I wanted to get done was I wanted to do this because I was just so, uh, pleased with that whole situation and in fact I, I I love the uh can I get a good shot oh it's it's raining so it's gonna look terrible but I wouldn't mind a nice shot with my wife there even though it is raining and it's sort of that's kind of cool that's kind of cool oh look at that she's sort of she's looking at the house thinking there must be something we can do to make this look nicer. <laughs> All right, so that was that. The other thing I wanted to do, and for this, we're going to need donkey power. Um, I have been neglecting something, and uh, we need to not do that. Oh, do, do, do. That's the doot doot song. Do, 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 do. All right, uh, for this, we need donkey power. And uh, 
So we need to continue with a project. Shall we use, uh, well, we've got Onyx here. And then we've got, uh, we've got Sapphire and we have Jasper. You know who I think would love this job? This is, this is a Sapphire thing. What do you think, Sapphire? Yeah? Oh, I got some donkey work to do. She's like, good, the union will be pleased. You know how they are. We don't talk about that, by the way. Um, I want to continue the palisade. Now, if we cruise on down here, uh, we'll take a look and we'll see that I'm using the new... Um, oh, don't run over people. I'm using the new, the new plank wall for the basically where the gates are and then the the other palisades the the log ones for the rest mostly because i don't have enough planks and like the logs i've got i've got a uh, metric whatever of you know those but these i don't have as much of so what i do want to do is take a look at the how much it's two panels then the gate two well two gates and then two panels Right, and then you can sort of look at generally how much it is. So I think, yeah, let's see if we can work with that. Let's see if we can work with that. Um, you know, someone was asking. It was an interesting question, and they were mentioning the the points if they make a that if it makes the logs a better for thing for defensive thing. Um, to be honest with you. I have a theory. I mean, yes, for defensive purposes, the pointy tipped wall would make it harder to climb over. But there is another advantage to having to having a not flat, like a uh, flat cut uh, log, vertical log for your for a fence. And that is that in rain on a flat top, water pools and it'll cause it to rot. And so what um, what you do is you will make the tip conical or whatever, like it has to, like, a, or, or a pyramidal or whatever, not flat, so that water sheds and doesn't pool on the top, and then the, the, the fence pieces don't rot, right? Anyways, it was just a thought. I was just, you know, somebody asked the question, and I thought, huh, I wonder if that, I wonder what the real reason is for them being conical or from, from being pointy. It could be both. I think that's perfectly valid. Now, as far as this is concerned, I think we can put one here, one there, and then we could just take out two of these guys. Maybe start with that. Um, delete. Oh, no, don't delete the donkey. No. Oh, hey, guys. Bye, Edberga. Bunka and Bunka. And we can, we can remove more. But I think what we'll do is... Um, no, put that away. Okay. Let's go get some planks, Sapphire. Uh, although, before we do that, hang on. Uh, we're going to need the logs anyways, so let's leave logs out here so we don't, we're not carrying them around. When I destroyed that wall, it, it dropped a bunch of logs. Okay, it gave me some logs. Uh, half! It gave me half of the logs used for the to build them. All right, let's go! Do, 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 do. See, this is a donkey, donkey doing donkey stuff. This is donkeys, or this is how they, they, they're happy with when this is like this. Although the rain is not really a donkey's best friend, I don't think. Not sure about that, but, you know. I've asked and they just sort of, they just stare at me blankly. Uh, we do have a number of planks, so what I think I'll do is I'll, I will do, okay, let's see, what else do I have on me that I can... Oh, I have plum juice. We could have that later. Is there anything else? Oh, yes. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, unload the uh, the spike cudgel. And that'll drop my weight a little bit. Uh, I'll keep the spear. Just because I wouldn't mind trying to use it a bit more again and in the future. And then I think that's good. And then for here, we're going to go and get planks. Uh, I can carry about... 50 or 60 or 70. Uh, whoa. Okay. There we go. 50 or 60. Maybe 70. How about I'll grab... I'll grab 100 and... No. I'll grab 80. And then I think what I'll do is I'll transfer... 
Uh, let's switch to mount, and we'll see that, yeah, 80 uh, is well inside uh, Sapphire's limits. So what we can do is we can transfer this to my mount. There we go. Oh, no, not one. Uh, all of them. Okay. There we go. And then I'll grab uh, another, like, 60 for myself. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be enough. Like, it's a lot of planks for those walls, so... But 60... I'll be overburdened, but I'll still be able to move, right? Because I'm only about 12 or 15 over. Okay, let's go. Let's go build ourselves a gate. Do, do, do. Okay. All right, Sapphire, what do you think? Plank, get, you're just not, you're not even paying attention, are you? All right, I'll take care of it then. Um, we want to put the gate down first. Who's this? Bernadetta. Hi, Bernadetta. Okay. Now, but we want to do it here. Okay, so let's... Um... No. Uh, we don't need actually to have you up. Okay. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, my goodness. I'm having so much difficulty with this. Gates! Oh, my goodness. Okay. Plank gate. One half of a plank gate. Okay. And we want... This will be the right-hand side. But this is where things get kind of wonky. I want to make sure... Uh, if I point this... Oh, sorry. 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 Are you laughing at me because I'm bumping into people? I think you are. All right. So what we want to do... Yeah, this is right. Follow the contour. Follow the line. And go over. And then have the left side in the middle of the path like this okay and then on this side do the same thing contour follow the like line it up and then go over oh I, I bumped something but I don't think it changed my direction and then go over and then like that okay oh they're side by side Oh, is that? That's not good, is it? No, I don't like that. Yeah, see how that's... Oh, but they should... F Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Okay. But well, we have probably more than enough. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Now, when this... And then it'll... Uh, if we were to make it do things... Yeah, I'm not happy with that. And I'm not happy with... Wow, I, I thought I had that done better. Man, okay, never mind. Um, no, no. <laughs> Let's do that again. Uh, log, no, uh, plank gate. And... Let's do it this one first. Let's do this one first. Essentially, like I... Oh man, this should have worked. But I think there's something I... Oh, there's a tree there. Okay, let's go in a little closer and line it up. See how it's kind of... There we go, right? And then just go straight over. Oh, no. Oh, I see what's happening. And then come over. And then go to third person and do it that way. <laughs> If I was smart, that's what I would do. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, and then... You know, third, like doing this in third person like this is actually kind of the better way to do it. It's a little bit off still, but at least I can line these two up. A bit better like maybe something like uh, like that and now it's uh, a little better we can fix this because I'm gonna have to take this one out as well 
just like that. And then what we can do is we can go in, take, uh, no, 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 Q, and then fences, and then we want to do a blank fence, and we want to bring that as close to you as possible. Like this. And it's going to be two. Is it two? Yes. And then we'll just bring it to this one. Oh, sorry. It's a little bit wobbly. In the grand scheme of things, it's not too bad, though. Right? We don't have laser sighting and all that other business. And then what we'll do is uh, we'll put in... No, no, no. I keep doing that the wrong way. I want to go here. And then plank fence. And then we want to put another fence here. We're going to go out two. Not three. Two. And sort of follow that line. There we go. As long as these ones are straight, I'm less worried about it. And we can always tweak this stuff to line it up with that. But these ones are the ones that are important. Okay, and then... Uh, go back into third per first person. Go to uh, build. And let's actually put this stuff together. Do, 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 do. In the rain, building in the rain. Placing planks, building in the rain. Being watched by a donkey. No, nope. oh, you're not looking? Okay. Building in the rain. Do, 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 do. Actually, this is a lot less planks than I thought. Oh, that sounded like a, something growling. <laughs> freak me out but I do like the sound eh, they line up fairly well I can live with it there we go all right so we've got our little it's got the gap we're not worried about that gap though are you gonna go through oh look at that Bunk. <laughs> Nice. All right, Sapphire, shall we? Uh, we've got planks. Let's go and finish the... Uh, we've got tons of planks. Let's go do the rest of the planking. We'll go and put the other gate down at the other set, the uh, at the far end of the village. Actually, let's follow our path. <gasps> oh, is there uh, bandits over here? I don't think they'd spawn in this close to the village, though. All right, let's keep going. Do, 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 do. And then we want another gate over here. Okay. Actually, no. Hang on. Sapphire, I'm sorry. Here. She wants to she wants to be able to watch me and laugh at my work. Yeah, and I know. You want to you want to make fun of me. Okay. All right. Let's see. So we want to follow this line, and I believe this is a straight north-south line. Okay. All right, let's do this. Now, I don't... I think these will get wiped out. But let's start with the gate itself. Um, one day, um, I will remember where this stuff is. Go into third person, because it does make it easier. Yeah, you could place it in... The, it'll, it'll wipe the rock out. And then, let's see, line this up. Maybe like that. And one there. And actually, you know what? It'll be easier once I build it. So let's do that. Because then it exists and then I can... Actually, that's good enough even. Right there. That's even good enough. Okay. Uh, gate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all I need. I just need the ghost image so I can see it. Perfect. All right. Uh, build. Bunk, bunk, bunk. Do, 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 do. Oh, 
exactly the right amount. Oh ho ho. Oh ho ho. Very nice. And then we want to put in, uh, not you. I keep doing that. Uh, uh, the planks. There we go. And then we want to build these ones as close to there as possible. And we're going to come down. For now, we'll just do the two. In fact, we could, uh, Oh, man. I think that's straight out to there. Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> this is what I mean. It's like, uh, okay. Ah. Uh. See, there's different ways we could do it. If we do it like this, and then we can line it up this way. Actually, I want it to... Well, we could have it come like this. But then I don't know how many there are. There's... There's the two, right? And then we can do something like that. Like, like that. And then over here... Go like this, and then there's you, and put you down, then out two-ish, and then come around, and then kind of just, gotta worry about the, uh, how does the lamp, okay, as long as we're, okay, this is fine. Then. We can do this. We could follow in, like, maybe... Oh, yeah, that works. Perfect! Okay! <laughs> uh, Sapphire, may I please borrow your planks? Uh, we don't need 80, though. We only need... I don't know. I'll grab 50 for now, because that's what I can reasonably carry. And without getting too slow. Okay. And then you building uh, trance three, level three. Wacka wacka. There we go. I think that I think that actually looks really good. And then f down to the lake, I don't know what I'm going to do. If I if I could keep doing planks, but I kind of like the idea of it being consistent where it's two, then the gate, then two and then logs. Right? I don't know. I think uh, if I do that all the if I do that at one, I should do it at all of them and uh, go from there. What do you think? Do you like it? Is that is that yeah, that means donkey approval. Oh, look at you. No, okay. Uh, yes, you're just be now you're just confusing me, Sapphire. Let's go. Oh man, this uh, rain is super loud. Okay. <laughs> yes, I agree. It's very loud. I think this is a good place to stop. Uh, I got pretty well. I got done what I wanted to get done, which was the uh, the, the the gates and all that sort of stuff. We got it. Oh, look at. Look at the windmill go. It must be windy. Not just rainy, but windy. Yeah, you can see all the trees blowing around. That's a... Uh... <gasps> let's go inside and take a look. Actually, here, before we go, let's... um Here, I'll, I'll put Sapphire back with her family. Let's go inside and, and take a look at the... At what the gears are doing when it's spinning so quickly. Look at that. It's... You could sort of see it through the, the thing, the little window there, but... This is kind of neat. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> yeah, we get, don't hurt yourself. You're gonna you're gonna get your don't get a finger caught in there. She's like, oh, I I'm a pro. I know how to I know how to work this thing. I'm now a level. How can I help you? Let me take a closer look at you. Uh, I am a level three farmer. Uh, yeah, I think she was doing production before. So, all right. 
This is a good place to stop. Thank you very much, everyone. Until next time, you all have yourselves a great day. Bye bye. Look at this. Windmill windmill gear, gears are going brr brr. <laughs> all right. Bye bye.